I was bored. You already. do it. All right, knock it out. All right, we are coming at you real time. We have a big announcement, some very exciting news, an epic install, and then another big announcement. Wow, that's a lot going on in this video. You do that so much better than me. I'm sorry, I've had a lot of practice. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Surprise! We are pregnant! How come I don't get to see it? Well, we are. I'm pregnant, but he was a part of it. I was part of it. Yeah. <laughs> think. We think, right? No. So, I'm super excited. That's kind of why we're coming at you real time. Our videos are a little bit delayed for reasons such as life just happening and editing and doing all that good stuff. So we are here now. Yeah, is it a, so is it a boy or girl? I thought you knew. <laughs> we're also going to do that later in this episode. We're going to do a, a reveal. Brittany wanted to do the whole umbrella flower freaking thing. I wanted to launch the parasailer and have flower petals fall out of that, but I got shot down. No, it sounded really, really good if we had 20 hands on deck and a whole production crew to film it. Yeah. But we didn't. We just had John. We actually were on the way right. to Panama. We, we started trying to get pregnant before we had a whole plan, and you're going to see that play out in the videos. Um, started getting, you know, trying to get pregnant, left, going to Panama. We figured it'd take like a year because it took a year to get pregnant with Reese and turned out she was pregnant before we even left the dock. We found out when we were down in South Florida. Uh, we diverted to the Keys, hung out there for a little bit. She threw up every day for, what was it? Three or four three, months. Three or four months, yeah. And um, and then ended up coming back up here and now we, you'll see in the videos. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome what's happening. But um, we have another thing that just happened. Yeah, so you gotta take this one. All right. We have other kids, you might have seen them on the videos before. Our youngest daughter, Jessica, just joined the United States Marine Corps and she shipped to boot camp last night. That's yeah. so exciting. Yeah, they do this thing where they, when, they, when they get down there, they call you and it's like this screaming 30 second, you know, read a thing, you know, I've safely arrived to Paris Island or wherever and <laughs> hang up on you. So last night, we actually took that call. Okay, honey, we've got two GoPros, a phone and a camera. That's oh my two gosh, phones. I don't think we our daughter is on the way down to MCRD San Diego to start a, a Marine Corps boot camp tonight. So right now she's at the airport in San Diego and uh, and soon after all the recruits get there she'll get bussed over to MCRD where she'll undergo recruit training. Usually females go to Paris Island, they always have historically uh, and uh, now they're starting to send females to San Diego as well. So it's kind of cool that she's going to be a part of that too. I'm in support of her with my Marine Corps belly? No, me. That's not a Marine Corps shirt. Oh, it's the United States of America shirt. That's <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> well, I was yeah. trying. That's yeah, all no, I had that fit me. Brittany was uh, Jessica's stepmom ever since. How old was she when you met her? Five or six? Yeah, something like that. And they were with us 50% of the time, and, and they would even come over when I was deployed and stuff. They'd come over and see Brittany while I was gone, too. What do you think about her joining the Marine Corps? I think this is amazing. I've been telling Jessica for years she should join the Marine Corps. So much so that she got a little mad at me and I told her I would never say anything ever again unless she joined the Marine Corps. And now I can talk about it. And then she did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, then she did it. I think I was like, I don't know, I could just see her being so successful in this department. To me, Jessica's just like him, but in a girl version. And he was very successful and I feel like she would be very successful in that department. She just has the personality for it. Naturally, I feel like she's a leader and kind of just that, she just fits the mold. There's yeah. a mold. So we're gonna stand here and wait for this phone to ring. No idea when that's gonna happen. Yeah, you know, I'm waiting to shower. Yeah, so I'll just wait. He's very antsy, he's like back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, this could be ours. All right, we're gonna wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Get some, Jess. So we're so excited for her, proud of her. We can't wait to go see her graduate in 13 weeks. That's awesome. All right, so the next thing we want to do is take you through a install we've recently done on Calypso. Uh, we had water maker issues for a while on this boat. We bought it with a, a, a water maker on board, a DC one, and it kept breaking. I mean, it was it was expensive to repair. Um, parts were pretty much unavailable now. So we researched and researched and found another company that has a sweet water maker, and we got it and we installed it. Okay, both were on at the same time for ease. Looking good. You're I can good. See myself. Yeah. Are we on? We're all right. On. All right. Let's go through this water maker, man. Um, where the hell's my light? Found it. It's a mess out here. Yes, it is. But that's for you, so you can show you the water maker. This one's an AC water maker from Seawater Pro. This is going to be our primary water maker. It makes 40 gallons an hour and then we're going to keep the other one as a backup it usually works but sometimes it leaves us hanging so we're going to go with this one as the primary and couldn't be more excited the customer service with seawater pro has been phenomenal i seriously have their text number and i text them at any time and they reply right to me uh i needed a little valve they sent it to me or a little fitting they sent it to me even like they didn't even charge me for it they've been wonderful um and the parts for this thing you can get at home depot if you had to like the pump and stuff like that so that's huge because that's a problem we've had before with not being able to get parts for our water maker so the first thing i did is i installed the boost pump this is just right at the through hall and this is going to send the water to the actual uh water maker itself obviously it's not hooked up right here but what I, that's because i'm not going to commission this thing until after the baby's born so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tee it off this this is the other water maker's through hall I'm only going to use one at a time. I just have a little Y valve, or not a Y valve, but like a T valve. And I'm going to tee it off and hook it up. And then this is just a little DC pump. It goes to the strainer for the DC pump. And then it runs through this half inch tube all the way back to the filters. Uh, Reese is actually the one that helped me install this too because Brittany's, you know, not, she's not, you know, it's a really tight little space, hard to get into. So Reese was able to get down there much easier than Brittany. I'm not the tiniest right now. No. Just you look good though. <laughs> Okay. Keep pushing. We have only a lot of room back here. Keep feeding. It's fine. Take your time. Good. Push it through. Hold on one second. Good. Now I'm going to grab it. All right, so let's go where that tube runs uh, after Reese ran it. You know, a lot of times you install a water maker all in one area, like all together. And I, I, I thought about doing that. But it takes up a lot of space if you do that. I already have one on board that took up that area. So I decided to go ahead and spread load these components around the boat. One for space, like it won't just take up a whole area. And I had a couple spots that were empty and it will spread load the weight. From that starboard side bedroom, that tube goes around here, all the way back underneath this to this port side lazarette. I'll hop down in here. Just to give you like a little orientation here, this is our compressor for our dive tanks. Uh, these are two batteries that are running a 24 volt configuration for the bow for the stern thruster. Okay, this is our rudder. And we're gonna talk about this fil these filters. I didn't use starboard on these, just and I'm gonna see how that kind of works out. I just wanted to try to keep it like a low profile. Um, so far, they seem really strong. So we'll see how it goes. But that tube coming from that boost pump comes all the way around, comes around here and hooks up right here goes in this one-way valve through the 20 micron and 5 micron filters and then heads to the main pump. Um, we'll go there next, but this is the main filter unit, charcoal filter for fre freshwater flushing, five, 20 and 5. It just basically runs back through again into this area. This is the starboard side aft lazarette. This is the pump for the Seawater Pro. Um, AC pump, uh, it's not wired in, I'm gonna have an electrician do that. That half inch blue tube coming in, goes to this pump and turns it to, puts it to 800 PSI into these high pressure hoses here. And that will run to the membrane. I installed this with some, uh, like some rubber isolation pump, uh, mounts. Person on uh, Instagram actually, he has this. And he's like, hey, put some isolation mounts on there. It's a great idea. That's just to help with vibration. So now we'll go to the membranes. We get a lot of recommendations from Instagram, don't we? Yeah. It's always nice and 
They're always great. Yeah, it's good. And then it comes into this area. This is like a, uh, a little storage unit for um, all this crap that you see. So I, went, I'm, I removed most of it so that we can check it out, but you wanna hop down in there with me, babe? You probably take your shoes off if this is not hot. Yeah. Now I'll go in there. No, I'll go down. All right. I'll go down. The last thing you say to a woman, somebody when she's pregnant is, wow, you're getting big. Somebody said that to me yesterday. I'm like, who the heck says that? I don't know. Like, you don't need to hear that past the age of six years old. There you go. Okay. Jeez, honey, you're getting big. Just oh kidding. my gosh. All right, here we go. Let's hop in here. Here's the high pressure hose coming from that AC pump to the membranes, which I've mounted right here. Two membrane system and you just kind of install it um, as the instructions tell you. Today we're going to install the membranes for the water maker. It comes in different parts. Um, the membranes are all together, but everything's not hooked up and the membranes are separate. Uh, so what I've done is installed a stainless steel bolt right here on both sides. That holds the two membranes together. You can also mount them uh, separately. And the way you mount them is just by using one of the, these little clips here. If you look at their website, it also shows like there's a zip tie with a little thing that you could do, but they sent the. The connections you have are a high pressure hose fitting right here and nothing here. This is a little plug. The water comes in from 800 PSI from the pump. Goes down the membrane where it will now be split um, into two different sections here. This is the brine water, like the bad water coming out, and this is the good water. And then it will just come into the next inlet for this membrane here. So good water, bad water, now it's going through this one. And the bad water gets sent to the panel, and the good water comes up and it gets sent to the panel. Water goes through and comes out over on that end to the remote panel. So we'll head back that way where I installed that. <laughs> You're a trooper for coming along. No. Coming along for the ride. I'm here for the ride. Oops. You oh. got two of us here. Yeah. Hello, little baby. All right. I have trouble getting Brittany to slow down sometimes. Now you have two different, you have like bad water and you have fresh water. And that goes to the remote panel, which is uh, optional upgrade for this system. You don't necessarily have to have it. I wanted it, so I went ahead and got it. It's very pretty. Yeah, I got like the, I think it was carbon fiber type finish. You can get wood, you get all kinds of stuff like that. It comes into the back, all those lines come to the back. Wiring comes in here. This is the Seawater Pro optional panel. It has the little gauge to tell how much water you're making, up to 40 gallons an hour. This is your uh, part per million, your boost pump, main pump, pressure valve, and boost pressure and main pressure. Brine water goes out from here and the fresh water goes to the tanks from here. Obviously it's not wired right now um, and I don't have that water hooked up, but we'll turn the boost pump on. That will turn on that black boost pump down below at the through hall. That's gonna put pressure um, up here to the filters and go to the high pressure pump. Then once you get that, turn the main pump on, which is that red one. And that's gonna increase the to 800 PSI for the membranes as you increase it right here. This right here is your PPM, so you can monitor your parts per million, and then your water flow meter. This mount, you needed to be able to drill this into something or create a mount, so I created a mount with some starboard. Reese actually helped me do that. It turned out really nice, I think. Where was I? I don't know, I think you were shopping. He's really picking up on doing things. Oh, he's a stud, man. I love that. The system is really spread all over the boat. I like it. Um, nothing is really like in the way. Um, all the stuff can go in storage right around that uh, membranes. That's made for a pump for the original water maker on the boat. Um, that area over there was pretty much empty and now it's got a little something, something in there, so. We'll see. So excited for that thing to be commissioned and running and 40 gallons an hour. That's the bomb. I know. So it's very, very nice, calming to know that we have now two water makers. Um, one will be our 
main and one will be backup, which is really nice. We'll use the Seawater Pro one as the main and then we're gonna use the other one as a backup, just in case. All right, so I can't wait. Is it a boy or is it a girl? Hmm, I feel like I don't know. Actually, we do know. Yeah. We did the reveal the other day and John came out and did it. If you don't know, John is uh, the previous owner of Calypso. He's a great friend of ours. Uh, he's a character. He's on some of our older episodes, stuff like that. He came out and he was a part of it. Yes, so we handed him the card that we got at our ultrasound. We didn't know either. She put it in there along with blue and pink rose petals. Yeah, so let's find out how that went. Are you ready for this, Reese? Yeah. What's it? What's that say? Congratulations. It's a dot dot dot. So what do you think it is? A boy. You think it's a boy? Yep. You think it's gonna be a little brother? Yep. You excited? Yeah. We got some new little baby pictures there from today's sonogram. Here's mama. Are you ready? Do I look like I'm expecting? Yes, you do. <laughs> what uh what do you think it's gonna be? A girl. You think so? But I thought that last time and yeah. um I was wrong. Well, we'll find out just a little bit. Based off experience now, I think this time around it's a girl. Yeah. Well, well, the girl said she was 99% certain. Well, you just told me that you think the sonogram girl was new. So yeah, I think I'm so. Like, uh, well, I mean, it's not hard to tell, you know? <laughs> you know, but... Well, you and then you know, the cool thing is she took a picture. So there's oh, a picture yeah. inside that envelope, too. I know you're going to be, like, looking at that, like... Yeah, I'll be, like, mm -hmm. I'll be critiquing, like, hmm, I don't know, maybe, yeah. But, yeah, so we got John coming over. He's going to bring an umbrella. And we're going to knock this out. Yes. You look lovely. Thank you. If I screw this up, it's because one hour ago, before I got the call that we were going to do this, I was happy as a clam sitting on my patio. And Brittany says, hey, we're going to do this right now. I'm like, yeah. oh, I got this. I so got this. So got we're going to get this right. Ready? You got a shuttle? No. I got a shuttle? All right, so I can't notice. There you you go. can't notice this. Oh, are we doing this right now? Yes. Okay. All right. So look, I'm gonna go, uh, we're gonna carry everything down there. Take your time. Okay, and it's gonna be that end of the dock. I'm not really sure. Okay, I'll be looking. All right. Okay, this is gonna be really simple. One, have an umbrella. Two, got um, flower petals blue, boy, pink, girl, Purple, ambidextrous, and the card. Hope I don't screw this up. Courage. I'm definitely gonna screw this up. Best part is, you guys know what it is before Brittany, Jeremiah, and little Reese know. I'm so nervous. By the way, I want a girl. They need a little girl on the boat, and I'm already lobbying the name. I don't want to tear this up. Back in a second, need a knife. Cut open. Congratulations, it's a what? They're actually peeking. They're peeking. Reese is the adult in the group. And by the way, I have no clue where they're going. They said the end of the dock. They're heading for the ICW. They literally are heading for the ICW. There's no dock there. Okay, here we go. Ready? And on. Friendly, by the way, if any get in the water, dolphin friendly. You can see they were looking forward to a girl more than a boy because uh, we have a ton of girls. And just okay, 20 pounds of girl flower petals. I was gonna put a few in my hair, but I don't want to ruin it. And they walked about a quarter mile away, and it's 90 degrees out and 90% humidity. Don't know how I'm gonna do this. Hold on, because I got to hold a beer. 
Okay. I'm sure they have a billion cameras set up because that is how we roll and do my best to not fall overboard. The wettest gender reveal ever. I'm so excited. It's a girl. I'm so excited. By the way, I'm allowed to tell you this because I've been lobbying the name. Brittany likes the name Scarlet. I think Scarlet would be amazing. Okay, here we go. Stay with me. I'm coming. I got lost. I'm pretty good. Oh, there's Brittany's Jeep. Isn't that awesome? That's fixing. Hey, Steven Spielberg. What's up? I know something you don't know. Is this a good spot? Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Okay, right. it's still red. Now, I'm going to hand you this. Yeah. And then... Hold it tight. Yep. Oh, thank you. Put your beer down. <laughs> Priorities, woman. I Look, hanging out with Steven Spielberg. Okay, I've got it held tight. <laughs> red camera's on. You're not allowed to open this. You're gonna hold oh it tight. Gosh. What? It's all gonna come just flopping out. Okay, we are still red. You are good to go. Are you guys ready? I'm nervous. My heart's racing. Are you ready? Yes. Right. Right. Is it a boy or girl? Boy. Here boy. we go. Do this right, babe. I'm trying to. I don't know how to do this thing. In a gust of wind. You ready? I'm ready. I can't do this. Commercial break. It just pops right up, right, John? I should. <laughs> it should. Oh I don't use go. umbrellas much. Here Where I come from, it never rains. Ready? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Check that out, it's a girl. Oh wow. We have a girl. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Oh my gosh, we have the best girl names. Dude, seriously, I've already been Bet. lobbying with everyone oh, out in God. TV reporter land. Oh man, I didn't know. I didn't think, I thought it was gonna be a boy. Hey, oh, what do wait. you think? Which one's the blue one? <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, I had to check twice that I didn't screw it up. Congratulations, big brother. Oh. What do you think, Reese? You ready to start beating up guys who wanna date your little sister? Dude, you know so many sub submission holds from all your jujitsu. Jiu-jitsu, that's why we're chasing you, man. I don't When I opened up the envelope, I was shaking. I was just like, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Welcome, little baby girl. When Look at that he, family. When John came out here super happy, I was like, he's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. They have oh, that's this little cool. girl. Oh, that's what? sweet. It's a girl. Yeah. yeah. So it is a girl. Yeah. I'm throwing these over. Why? Because I'm sad. Uh, no, no. Oh. Oh. What did you say that was? A lost dream? No, I didn't say it was anything. You doing okay? No. <laughs> of girls. I have four girls and two boys. Now, total, right? Yeah. So six, and he says he's gonna get fixed after this. I'm getting so fixed. I don't care about to do it myself. Probably the last girl. Um, but we're gonna bring you along for the ride with us. You're gonna see it all play out. Uh, we just want to give you a quick updated version of what's going on. Uh, but it's all going to play on the video and stuff like that. But we couldn't be more excited. We have a couple names picked out. If you have any name suggestions, just send them in. We'd love to hear them. Uh, we're down to two right now, so. But we're not set, so send them in. Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. There's a fishing obstruction right there. I'm over here like this. <laughs> She's like, well, okay, I'll go back to sleep. Yeah. Gloom and doom, huh? Gloom and doom. It's dry. Feels really good. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It feels like a flock of birds laying on our boat. We're gonna be riding in style. Oh, we've never had a toilet problem. Uh oh, was it the baby wipe? It has been pouring rain. They glued it in. <sighs> Honey. Yes. Voiceover time. Duty calls. What is this? A blanket? No, the outfit, man. You look like Madonna. Are you excited to be moving south? Tara and I are knocking out some cleaning. I'm heading to Walmart. All right, here we go. Have fun. You made it. Cheers. 
Oh, well, you're right in front of us. It's gone. I think it looks fine like this. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.